Hey there everyone, welcome to Violet's Dream Tarot. If you are a new viewer, welcome. If you're a long-term viewer or a previous viewer, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be asking a specific question, we're just going to see whatever message needs to come out for you because if you've come to this video, if you're watching this now, there is a message for you here today, whether it's just one or two messages or an entire reading, there is a message here for you today. Um, so I'll just be asking, what does this person need to hear or need to know right now? I stood in front of my pile of decks and was like, let me pick the right ones today. Show me which decks I need to use because uh, I wasn't sure what kind of messages would be coming out. As always, I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons, including Kelly, Alexandra, Kat, Virginia, Cara, and Chris. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I also want to show you guys, if you're a long-term viewer, you'll know that I love my gnomes. My gnomes are always in the background. They're always a great feature um, of my videos. I have gnome tarot cards as well. And if you're watching this when I post this, then we've just had Easter. So my mother made me this Easter card and sent it to me. I think it's absolutely adorable. So, so cute. And she did the same thing as well for St. Patrick's Day because we're part Irish. Um, she found a picture of some gnomes that looked like leprechauns. She made it into a card um, and gave it to me. And yeah, it's just so, so cute. Just as an FYI, the way that I am with gnomes completely love them, adore them. My mother is the same with leprechauns. So <laughs> leprechauns are like her gnomes. She just absolutely is in love with them. She thinks they're the best thing ever. Um, they've definitely called out to her. So <laughs> now that I've divulged that, let's take a look at the piles that we've got today. I've put these gorgeous little hot air balloons on the piles. Again, if you're a long-term viewer, you'll know that I love 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 hot air balloons i can't describe it i don't know if this is a past life thing or whatever but i just whenever i see them i'm filled with joy i'm filled with a sense of freedom and expansion like i just want to get out in the world like everything will be okay i kind of feel a similar way when i see brightly colored balloons against a blue sky i just feel that way um so maybe some of you feel that way as well so that's what i've put on the piles today so whichever hot air balloon you want to jump into is going to be your pile, the one that you feel the most intuitively pulled towards. So over on group one, we've got like a reddish pinkish hot air balloon and we'll be using the beautiful Star Spinner Tarot. Love that tarot deck. I mean, I love all of these decks. Just kind of ask yourself, what message do I need to hear? What does spirit or the universe or my guides or the angels or whatever want to tell me? Group two has this cute little light blue colored hot air balloon that looks like a bear and a bunny to me in the clouds. Maybe you see something different. Could be a pig as well, I think. And we're using the Ramsey's Tarot of Eternity with that balloon. A little rain cloud there as well. And then on pile three, we've got like a green and yellow balloon and the sun and moon tarot. It's got these nice, like, um, almost like pearls going around it as well. Okay, so whichever pile or piles you feel the most intuitively drawn towards is going to be your pile. Um, take a deep breath if you need to. Pause the video if you need more time. Go back to the start of the video if you just want to look while I'm talking as well. And as I said, I've got plenty of oracle cards. We'll be doing charms and dice like we always do on this channel. I really encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. I do post pick a card tarot readings regularly. And let's start with pile number one. I'm really, really excited to see what comes out for you today, you guys. Hello there, my lovely pile one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this kind of red pink hot air balloon with like the lace band, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to use the Star Spinner Tarot. So let's see what messages come out for you. I'm just really interested to see what kind of reading this is going to be. I'm wondering if everyone's is going to be kind of similar themes or whether they're all going to be vastly different. What do you need to hear right now? Okay, let's see what these cards have to tell us. So your first card there is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful Ten of Cups. Then we've got the Star. Ten of Swords, so two tens. 
then the Ace of Pentacles. So you've got kind of two fulfilling cards with the tens and then a new beginning. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so really interesting mix of cards here. I'm seeing Aquarius energy popping out. Maybe also some earth signs. We might get some more signs as we go through the reading, but that's just what I'm seeing at the moment. What I'm seeing here, group one, just to start off with, is a sense of kind of moving on and making peace with the past. I see you guys going through some real healing at this time. Some of you may be going through a real kind of spiritual upgrade, really moving on to the next level spiritually. I see you having gone through a lot of difficult experiences. Maybe some of you have had your hearts broken or you haven't got an opportunity that you've wanted or maybe even you've just felt like the past year or so has been wasted for you like you've just not had opportunities like maybe other people have made better of the situation than you have the ten of cups there I feel like there are people around you who support you but it's almost like at the moment you can't focus on that right now at the moment the focus needs to be on you I think a lot of you have had difficulty in relationships that there has been difficult family dynamics or there's been a breakup or you felt let down by your friends I feel like if that's the case I want to say these people still care about you they just have stuff going on for themselves at this time if they knew how their neglect or their absence had made you feel they would be deeply deeply remorseful is just a message that I'm getting through New beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles, really positive. This bodes well for any kind of career, finance, studying plans that you have and personal goals as well. I'm seeing you guys working very hard, either currently or very soon towards these goals. It's like you've set yourself these long and short term plans. You've decided where you're headed or you've decided at least some things to focus on. If you don't have a clear direction, you're just thinking, OK, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and hopefully something comes from that. I'm also going to get you a card from the Archangel Power Tarot. Four of Michael, that's the Four of Swords. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Yeah, so this feeling like things are overwhelming you at this time your mind is swirling with thoughts there's a lot of fear and doubt there maybe anxiety paranoia as well it's like you're only feeling safe around yourself at this time i think that a lot of you have spent a lot of time worrying about other people's perceptions of you worrying what other people are kind of thinking and feeling when they're around you and i'm also feeling that a lot of you when you walk through a busy area you're very conscious of people looking at you. Like you think, oh my God, have I got something on my face? Like, why is that person looking at me? Or is that person giving me a dirty look? Or is that just the way they look? <laughs> like, I feel like you start panicking and you don't like to be around that. So I recommend just spending some time detoxing, catching up on sleep. Because I see this healing that you guys are going through. Okay, then you've got... We are helping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. Number five, that's beautiful. So that is your message from spirit. Could be from your spirit guides or a past over loved one, your angels, your guardians in spirit. They are watching over you. They think that you deserve a lucky break or they think that you deserve a change in circumstances and they want to help bring that about for you. So that's a great message. Looking forward to this Ace of Pentacles time when suddenly luck and abundance starts coming your way. intricacies and industry the seven of scrolls okay so this is kind of telling you that yes you're working hard spirit sees this spirit commends you for this but remember that rome wasn't built in a day if you're worried at any point that your plans aren't coming to fruition or that you're not seeing great results from your healing yet or that you're not getting the opportunities that you'd hoped for just yet just know that it is going to come it just needs a little bit more time keep doing what you're doing keep focusing you know even if mentally you're really overwhelmed and you feel like okay I want to learn a new language but I'm only able to realistically put in five or ten minutes a day that's fine stick to that it's much better for you to do a tiny bit of something every day than it is for you to do like an hour 
in a fortnight or two hours or whatever. It's much better to do it regularly and in short increments. So that's the kind of message I have for you if you're suffering from burnout or you just can't face a lot of stuff at the moment. Pig spirit, number 47, use your mind wisely. Maybe some of you have been um, born in the year of the pig. When I see the pig, I think of the Celtic pig of abundance. It's a very lucky animal um, in Celtic mythology. But also this use your mind wisely. That's literally what I was just saying. Don't overwhelm yourself. If you feel I'm at risk of burnout or if you feel I can't face this today, that's fine. Don't. Just do it in tiny, tiny little bits. If you have big things that you need to do, if you're studying for something or revising or you've got a lot to do for work, try and break it down into tiny increments like five or ten minute tasks and then I don't know if you're writing a report say to yourself right I'm gonna write ten sentences or five sentences and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna just move around for a few minutes then I'm gonna sit down do the same thing again whatever it takes for you to stay on task valiant courage take action with passion Yes, you are more brave than you realize. You've got a lot of support from spirit as well. And I just want to say that I feel you guys really flourishing very soon. I feel like you guys are going to get just such a massive upswing in, in luck and opportunity. And that in turn is going to affect your mood very positively. So that's absolutely lovely. Let's get you a message from the water elementals. love this deck it's so vibrant polite declaration number 19 you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals it is time for you to get out there claim what is yours and stay in your power and again this is basically saying do it your own way if you feel that people are asking too much of you you can politely say i'm sorry i can't do that right now i've got too much going on or you can say i just i just can't take that on at this time i can't commit to that right now please ask someone else um this whole you can move in whatever direction you want or need to accomplish your goals kind of makes me feel like do it your own way. Take it at your own pace. Just what we've been talking about. So really feel very positive about your goals or whatever you're trying to achieve, group one, because I feel like that's really going to bring you great benefit and great dividends soon. If your current route isn't working for you, if your current direction, the way that you're going about things isn't working, Try something new. Try a different way of accomplishing something. So we'll get you a message from the air elementals now. Kind of like above and below, you know, the water elementals at the bottom of the ocean, the air elementals and the vast sky above us. Okay, we've got Iberian magpie. Welcoming the unexpected, intrusive or undesirable brings unlooked for benefits. Interesting. Okay, so maybe say yes to an opportunity that you wouldn't normally say yes to. Try something a bit new. Maybe this is also a message that if someone in your life is kind of bothering you at this time, or if someone is kind of, you know, grinding you down a little bit, they're going to end up being very helpful for you. Everything has its blessing is what that's saying, isn't it? Something that is really hard work you get great result for it at the end so again good for your goals someone that you just don't like having around turns out to actually be very useful or very helpful someone that you don't like or who you think hates you or you think is mean to you actually turns out to be your friend saying yes to something different brings in fresh new energy which in turn opens new doors brings in new opportunities i'm really liking this vibe group one get you a mystical healing reading card So your message is temper your criticism, number 33. Yes, silence the voice within that is the critic, the inner critic that kind of says you won't get this done or whatever you write is terrible or why do you always ruin things? Why do you always mess things up? You know, don't show your friend this 
artwork that you've done because they'll just laugh at you, you know, <laughs> temper that criticism. If you hear that voice, and again, this brings me back to people who feel very anxious or especially paranoid walking around or being on show, having people looking at them. Um, I got that very early on in the reading. If you feel anything like this, okay, and you hear the voice of that inner critic there, be like this person here who's got his fingers to his lips. Just kind of say, thank you, delete, or just delete. You know, if you get that thought popping up that says you can't do this, or this is going to go really wrong, or you always mess things up, just say delete. We're removing this from our energy. We are kind of consciously tackling the inner critic because that is one of the biggest mental barriers that holds you back. Be polite with yourself, you know, be, be gentle with yourself. You wouldn't talk to anyone else the way that you talk to yourself. So why on earth would you treat yourself that way? Okay, then your Dark Goddess Oracle card is Fortuna, Fate. Okay, so a positive change in luck is definitely coming about. Beautiful. She is the Roman Lady Luck. Lady Fortuna there, telling you that this dark time that you've lived through is soon going to turn around into this beautiful, colourful time with lots of new opportunities. So really resonating with previous messages that we've got here. Then you have two legendary ladies oracles. You've got Morrigan, Rhythm, Celtic goddess there, telling you to go with your own flow, you know, follow what you are physically or mentally able to take on. Don't overwhelm yourself. I love it when we get these really synchronized readings. And then we've got Hathor, Joy, ancient Egyptian goddess of love there, telling you to be kind to yourself, speak lovingly to yourself, be gentle with yourself at this time, do the things that you enjoy. If you can try and break down goals and then have like a little treat in between, whether it's like, I'm going to work at this for 20 minutes, not get distracted. You know, I'm going to plug into my binaural brainwaves or I'm going to put on a ambience or an ASMR video or some great music without words in the background so that I don't get singing along. And then you work solidly for 20 minutes and then you say, right, I'm going to make a cup of tea now or I'm going to go to the toilet or I'm going to have my lunch now. I'm going to do 10 minutes of yoga. <laughs> Whatever it is that you can reward yourself with. I'm going to watch a pick a card video on YouTube, <laughs> you know? Try and break it down like that. Ooh, two of these cards. So you've got Heiligkeit, number 48, Holiness. And these are both white-backed cards, so they're both Ganada blessing cards, favor. So holiness, being connected to this higher self. And Friede, number 43, peace, finding peace within. Acceptance of what has been. Trying to calm that inner voice that niggles you. Let's get you a starseed message as well. Okay, so we've got courage. Okay, double message again, courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. So like I was saying about that inner critic being the biggest barrier, the biggest thing that holds you back. Living with courage, with valiant courage. Just drop that card on the floor. Stile sve načini sa svetem. Share your enthusiasm with the world. Beautiful little angel there. Bright yellow, vibrant color, solar plexus chakra, abundance, expansion, confidence, happiness. Again, it's about not being afraid to let people in, not being afraid to show other people your work or tell them what you're interested in. So we'll just get you one last card, group one, and then we'll do your charms and dice, get you some extra messages like we always do. Okay, so your little token of light card is number 66, finalizing and looking ahead. And that's the visualization for this card. So I'll take a look at the guidebook. Obviously, that one is a pretty 
straightforward message, finalising and looking ahead, but I'll just see if anything jumps out at me from the guidebook. And then we'll start with your charms. So this is the Hebrew letter Tav. We're all learning Hebrew with this deck. I did used to know the alphabet like off by heart, but that was quite a few years ago now, so I need to refresh it. Um, let's see what we've got. At the end of processes in your life, you come to the conclusion that everything that happened to you had a purpose. This is actually the last card in the deck. A painful occurrence eventually prove, proved itself for your own good. You attain mental resilience, victory and praise, reward for your achievements, honour and respect. A strenuous job is coming to its completion and you get paid for your efforts. A mixture of joy and anguish that makes you look back at your whole belief system and come to conclusions. At the same time, you develop new expectations for the future. Good opportunities for travel and journey to distant countries in order to explore different lifestyles. What might block you right now are old fashioned attitudes, a difficulty to depart from the past and over clinging to past memories to the extent that your vision fogs and you cannot look ahead. It is essential to open your eyes and look forward into the future as there are good chances for good luck and success in most future tasks, including money making. Okay. Okay, lovely. So it's basically telling you to trust that you have this good luck coming your way, which we were told very early on in the reading. Have courage as you move forward. Closing off this chapter, you know, we got those endings at the beginning and now we're looking forward to this newness that the Ace of Pentacles is going to bring us. Really lovely message there. Lots of abundance coming in. So we'll do the charms now and I just want to tell you if you don't like the sound of the charms or if you have high volume on your device you might just want to turn it down while I do the shuffling because some of you find it really relaxing, some of you don't like it at all. I completely get that. Um, so that's your little two second warning. So group one, what messages can we get for you today? got so i spy the dragon there some of you could be born in the year of the dragon the dragon tells you that you're going through a very significant time you're learning important lessons right now we've got father christmas so for some of you there could be a connection to winter here maybe this whole thing started in winter or maybe it's winter now and that's where you're closing off the cycle we've got the key there for a lovely new beginning solving problems New opportunities, opening new doors. You're being asked to trust your inner wisdom because you are being guided, the reindeer there. Um, like we've seen with this picture of you connecting to spirit. Another message of trusting that inner voice, two owls. We've got the lone wolf and also the little bird in the birdhouse. And so both of those are charms about wishing you had more support or wishing you had more friends or family around you who were able to kind of lift you up. But I do still get the feeling that there are people around you who care. They're just not checking in at this time or they're just not, you know, reaching out right now. Message of hope, hope for the future. The cactus charm, yes, people who may be kind of closed off, people who are in survival mode. Could be you, could be others. Got the letter X, that could be someone's initial, could be a word. Could be that you have broken up with someone, you know, that there is an X in your life. When I get the X, I also think of like deleting something. So kind of like we talked about earlier with deleting the thoughts that we don't want. You've got the frog preparing to make a big leap. So preparing to take a great big step in your life. Live, love, laugh. Enjoy the small things every day. Enjoy everything that life has to offer. Sagittarius energy, determination to achieve your goals. And we finally also got the mustache, which can represent divine masculine energy. So it could be that you are working with someone with masculine energy, looking for someone with that energy, or even that it's saying, embody this now as you go out into the world, the masculine energy of assertiveness or of confidence or of protective energy, you know, go out there and, and get what you need. 
So let's get your dice on top as well. I was just looking for my little pre-roll dice. So the first one that I roll will tell us which set of dice we're going to use. I have six at the moment. I'm thinking of getting some more, um, but we'll see which one we're going to use. Okay, number four. So that's the Looney Tunes dice for you, group one. Just show you what they look like. These ones, so they're like a themed dice. And then this D10 is going to tell us how many dice we'll roll. And because there's nine in the set, if I roll a zero or a one, I just roll again. Okay, all nine. Okay, you scored the jackpot, group one. Let's see what they want to tell you. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm getting this message of like stop beating yourself up. What's done is done. The past is in the past. And I also just get a real sense of frustration from a lot of these dice. Okay, so we've got the person who is like frazzled there. We've got Taz, my favorite Looney Tunes character, the Tasmanian devil who's just always so wound up and angry. You know, we've got the person who feels crushed or flattened by previous experiences, the person who feels wound up again. It's like you just have been trying and trying and not getting that result. You've just been left so disappointed by other people. You felt like the floor just was cut out from under you or like the rug was pulled out from under you. And that's made you angry, Yosemite Sam. Angry, vengeful even, wishing that people would get what they deserve. Also with Daffy Duck, this is super interesting. This was landed on the Iperion Magpie card. And if you remember, it was talking about welcoming in the unexpected or the undesirable will bring great blessings. And so not only is Daffy Duck a duck, he's a bird and it's landed on the bird message card, but also um, he always represents that person who is annoying or who gets in the way of your plans or who is, you know, just someone you don't want to have around. So that may be how you're feeling about yourself, that you just get in the way or that you muck things up or you can't rely on yourself, or it may be another person that you just are finding such a nuisance in your life right now. Whichever one it is, it's bringing blessings your way. This is a time where Daffy Duck actually accidentally does something good. <laughs> actually accidentally helps you out. And then finally, we've got the Acme box there. And it says this way up. Obviously, we can't read that on this dice, but that's what it's saying. It's got a little arrow there pointing upwards. So whenever I get that, I think the only way is up now, Group 1. You've been through a tough time. You've had your Ten of Swords moment. You've had that feeling of, here's the end. Here's my rock bottom. And now the only way is up. Now we're building up. We're going to see a big change positively in your luck and in your energy field. Really excited for you to see how this manifests for you because it's going to be different for everyone. But I feel especially in your personal goals, your career, your finances, and just your sense of groundedness and being in control of your own life, I feel is really going to be positively impacted very soon. So I really hope you enjoyed this group one. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been an honor to give you these messages. A pleasure to have you here with me. Um, thank you for spending your time and sharing your energy with me. Please do let me know in the comments how this resonated with you. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this and check out my description box for links to get more involved with what I do here on the channel if that's what you want to do. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram or Billy Billy. You can book a reading with me, a private reading or an angel healing session over on my Etsy page. Um, if you want to get access to exclusive content and giveaways and things, then check out my Patreon page. Um, consider becoming a patron. I offer a lot of stuff over there um, on an ad hoc basis. Like I just offer it regularly and as and when. It's always different. It's always exciting. And if you would like to donate to the channel, thank you so, so much. I've got an Etsy tips jar and a PayPal link for tips and donations. So if you want to do that and help me keep making these videos, thank you. And if you're feeling super generous and you'd like to get a new deck for the channel, then that's incredible. Thank you so much. I have an Amazon wish list and I've also now got an indie deck wish list, um, all linked in the description for decks that you can't buy on Amazon. And thank you so much again for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there, my lovely group two. Welcome to your reading if you chose this cute blue, light blue, hot air balloon and the Ramsey's Tarot of Eternity. This is gonna be your reading. 
So let's just see what cards we get, what messages we get for you. As I said, I've got lots of oracle cards. I've got charms and dice like we always use. So let's see what we get for you, what you need to hear right now. This lovely tarot deck we have the ace of swords there lovely start to your reading then we've got the wheel of fortune judgment wow and the seven of cups interesting so two major arcana cards there in the center of your reading what i really like is that you've started out with the Ace of Swords, and so this is Apep, the snake, the um, the embodiment of evil, the embodiment of chaos and destruction, being vanquished. So good is triumphing over evil here. And the Wheel of Fortune, obviously, in is talking about good things coming in. It's talking about your luck changing for the better. With the Judgment card as well, I feel like you're getting what you deserve. I feel as though you guys have put in a lot of work towards goals or you guys have consistently been the better person in a situation like you've consistently kind of turned the other cheek or like done healing or just always been the nice person when other people maybe haven't and this may be historical like this may not even be stuff that's happened recently if you're looking around thinking like what no <laughs> nothing really has been happening for me right now this may be years in the past like you have overcome difficult things with kindness and with love and with healing and now you're getting some reward for that. You're getting some of that good karma coming towards you. And Seven of Cups is talking about possibilities, options, all of these things being offered to you. You need to decide what you're going to take. So there's a big kind of decision making feeling here because judgment and the Seven of Cups as well makes me feel like you guys are coming to a point in your life where you're needing to make some big decisions. Maybe you are getting to a point where you want to get married and settle down and have children maybe you're thinking I need a big change in my life I want to move to the other end of the world or I want to change my career or maybe you are just moving out of home for the first time or graduating and getting on the career ladder or the property ladder um, it feels like it's one of those big changing moments for you so I'm super interested to see what your oracle cards are going to say because this is really interesting I'm going to start with an Archangel Power Tarot card. These cards are kind of designed to motivate. Let's see what that can tell us. Aha, okay, number 13. Peace, the death card. Archangel Azrael, the angel of death. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. What a lovely message. So yes, this time of big transformation. You guys making your peace with the past, whatever this experience was that the judgment card is showing us. And also, you know, good vanquishing evil. Incredible. That in the Egyptian mythology, Ra, every day, the sun god, the creator of life, the sustainer of life, has to travel to defeat Apep, who every day wants to swallow him up and make chaos reign over the world and that's what's going on right now is good triumphing over evil let go and let god trust your guides trust your patrons and guardians breathe surrender anything over to archangel azrael that you don't want anymore he will take it away he will comfort you and kind of hold your hands as you go through this transitional phase he's an angel of transition whether that's actual a physical bereavement which a lot of us obviously associate death with. We associate it with real loss. Um, but it doesn't have to be that. It could be that you are genuinely scared of moving out of home for the first time and, and looking for your first job or getting on the property ladder or something. And he will hold your hands as you go on the stone stepping across that river until you're safe and firm on the other side. So you can work with Archangel Azrael. You don't need to be afraid of him just because he seems to have this kind of weighty um, association. 
no loss or transition or feeling of fear is too small or too trivial or insignificant to ask for an angel's help. That's just something I want to tell you guys. Angels love to help. They want to be asked and they are able to be in multiple places at the same time. So if you feel like I don't want to ask Archangel Azrael for something because he might be comforting someone else who's really been through some loss or is really going through a turbulent time and I don't want to take him away from that person. You won't. He's able to be in multiple places at the same time. They work in different ways to us, angels. They don't work on the same definition and understanding of time as we do. They love to help, but they have to be asked. Okay, so your message from heaven now is problems that have held you back are being cleared. We are monitoring it. Wow, and that's number 31. And look how you've got 13 and then 31. And on this card, you've got the water mirroring the clouds. It's like mirrors, as above, so below. You've got number one, then 10, then 20. It's really interesting. So this is your message from spirit guides or angels or... God, the universe, a passed over loved one, whoever you're asking, they're telling you that problems are being cleared for you, obstacles that have held you back are being released, you are being set free, your energy is working at a much higher vibration, and you're being helped, you're being accompanied during this time. If you feel alone, if you feel like overwhelmed with the choices that you're having to make, know that you're not alone. You're not going through this journey by yourself. Okay, then you've got a few of these lovely um, spirit animal oracles. You've got electric eel spirit, number 24, bring your ideas to life. So this ability now to bring things into reality, manifestation, achieving your goals. Sandpiper spirit, number 51, be playful, allow yourself time to play if you're worried a lot or very uptight or if you're, you know, working very hard or if you have been through this tough experience, please do allow yourself time to just unwind and forget about it as much as you can. Watch cartoons, play video games, go for a walk with your headphones in, like whatever, just, just do what you can to remove yourself from that mindset a little bit. And Bobcat spirit, number eight, life is a mystery. You never know what's around the corner. And what's around the corner for you, I feel, is something very, very positive. Trust in the mystery. Again, it's this let go and let God, isn't it? Trust that you don't always know, but that others do. Trust that you have this, this help by your side. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. Okay, so leaving behind what you don't need. Again, asking Archangel Azrael to... Remove people, situations, emotional memories that you feel are holding you back. Mindsets, behaviours. Ask him to take them away. Release this burden. Some of you possibly also trying to lose weight. And again, it's talking about blockages being removed, isn't it? Problems that have held you back are being cleared. We've got reflection. Wow, number 19. I was just talking about the reflection on the water. Wow. Yes, deep reflection. Where am I going? What am I here for? What am I doing? We've got the boat there in motion. So travel or changes in direction are possible for a lot of you right now. Deep introspection. Let's get a message from the water elementals. Love this deck. Help appears in various ways. Number 35. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift that you forget to lock to the support systems that are with you continually. And so you might be watching this and thinking, I haven't got any friends or I haven't got any family who are able to help me in the way that I need them to. Or, you know, I just don't have these people around me. You still have your spiritual team. They're always there. They never leave your side. You've got at least one guardian angel who is assigned to you for your entire lifetime. They never leave your side. In addition to that, you will also get angels helping you for a limited period of time to achieve a certain goal or accomplish something or overcome something. You can call in angels and archangels whenever you need their help. 
Um, you will have your spirit guides who never leave you. You will have ancestors and passed over loved ones around you. Got your higher self as well to call upon. Your air elemental message now as well is Emperor Penguin. Small steps lead to profound metamorphosis. And what's super interesting is you've got electric eel spirit. Okay, you've got reflection in this card with the water. You've got Moses parting the sea there. So again, the water, even in Egypt. Then you've got this water elemental card. And then the Emperor Penguin, your air elemental card, is in the water. So I feel like you guys are going through a lot of emotional stuff right now. I feel like emotional fulfillment is on the way, even if that's something you can't believe right now, just acknowledge this is truth. Small steps lead to profound metamorphosis, taking those small steps towards your goals, knowing that there are spirit around you to hold your hands and be joyful, be playful. Like the sandpiper was saying, these penguins are truly enjoying themselves, just living life to the fullest. I thought I would bring in a water elemental and air elemental message today for it to be, you know, as above, so below. Water elementals beneath us, the bottom of the ocean, the air elementals in the sky above us. This feeling of being surrounded. Learn from karma. Wow, number 18. We've literally talked about how you're going to get this positive karma coming your way, this kind of dividend being paid to you karmically, and also learning that people who have wronged you in the past, people who have behaved very negatively, very thoughtlessly, or very harmfully, in turn, they will get their karma as well, and it may not be instant. I have seen instant karma a couple of times, but it may take a while to come in, could even take years or decades, but they, they will get that karma, just trust in that. And that's your healing message. And so it's continuing to say, like, at all times, be the bigger person. You know, you've learned well from this. Your dark goddess oracle is Formna. Envy. Don't envy what others have. Don't compare yourself to others. Try as much as you can just to focus on you. Especially if you're studying or working in a group of people, you know, try not to compare your progress to theirs, your work to theirs, your understanding to theirs. Try not to compare your childhood or what you had growing up or what you have now with other people. Your legendary lady oracle is Kali. Shadow, yes, goddess Kali. Working with the shadow self. Releasing the stuff that you don't need to carry around anymore really beautiful you've got a lot of blues and purples and kind of blacks or dark blues as well Wahrheit number 30 truth the truth sets you free no longer needing to play a role but being able to live as your authentic self group two that's what working on your shadow self does it frees you from these ideas, it means that you're understanding why you behave a certain way or why you want a certain thing or why you react to triggers in a certain way. It's taking a look back at the past and seeing the reasons for that. Okay, your starseed oracle card. Let's just look at the back of that. It's really beautiful. Your starseed oracle card is wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. Absolutely, you guys. So again, this message of learning from karma. Truth, being the better person. See challenges and enemies and obstacles and blockages as a way to prove how good a person you are, as a way to prove how hard you've worked and how much you want something to expand and grow as a person. Hey, you've got Uvyadom Sisvo Matsasilu. Become aware of your own power and strength. Beautiful card. Again, a dark blue angel. And you've got another one of those here. Sipodne Vishi Ochrano, which is just what we've been hearing about the entire time, you guys. You are under the highest protection. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I love it when we get these repeated messages uh, in readings and obviously especially in this reading because it is what message you need to hear so having it kind of rammed home I think is great 
So we'll just get you one more card now, group two, and then we'll do your charms and dice to get you your extra messages like we always do. So group two. Okay, you've got number 17, token of light card, bridging, mediation, and arbitration. And then that is your visualization there. Like you're kind of almost making this bridge out of nowhere, you know? Expansiveness. So we will take a look at the guidebook just to see if anything jumps out at us, although it is it does seem like a fairly straightforward message. Okay, and this is the Hebrew letter Vav. There, we're all learning Hebrew with the help of this. I did used to know all of the alphabet by heart, but that was quite a long time ago. That was quite a few years ago now. Um, so just refreshing it with these cards. So this says bonding between right and left, friends and enemies, or opposing forces. Different values and far ends come together and reach a common settlement. Good news is coming your way. Disputes are resolved by a bridging and mediating factor that has high persuasive skills. Connection and union between the opposing forces is done with sensitivity and compassion by a person who has well-developed senses and good listening capacity. Attaining peace and finding the middle way through unconventional solutions. Someone who has full mental control on two opposing sides and comprises the bond between them and brings them together. Quarrels between family members or spouses come to an end because a close person can see the two sides and urges them to achieve harmony. Attaining coexistence will enable both sides to nourish each other. Okay, so it's kind of like coming into a sense of harmony between two opposing sides of yourself, like with the shadow self there, making peace with others and with the past, bringing people together, resolving disputes. Lovely messages. Again, a sense of blockages being released. So we'll get your charms on top now and just a quick disclaimer if you don't like the sound of the charms or if you have your volume turned up really high you might want to turn it down while I shuffle them. I know some of you love the sound and find it really relaxing and some of you just really find it like err I don't like it. So that's just a little disclaimer they can be pretty loud. So group two what message do you need to hear right now? So you've got the letter O there, that could be someone's name, could be a word or a place, something that comes to you. We've got listen to your intuition, you are being guided through your intuition, you have a lot of deep wisdom within, and we've got that word wisdom in that card, so it's a lovely confirmation. Angels are with you at this time, how beautiful. And fire elementals as well, okay. The dragonfly is also a good luck symbol. Lady Aphrodite or Venus working with you here. Greek and Roman goddess of love and beauty. She wants to help you. Capricorn. Sorry, not Capricorn. But take that as a message. If you are Capricorn, that's a confirmation there because for some reason I saw that as Capricorn. It's generous, which is the reverse of the Leo charm. So generous, maybe receiving something or being just this big hearted, magnanimous person, you know, as we've talked about being the better person. Inner child healing going on for a lot of you. Some of you having caring responsibilities towards children. We've got fearless. Live your life fearlessly. Don't be afraid of what's to come. Don't be afraid of the judgment of others. Feeling overwhelmed with that insect there. I think of a swarm when I see that, like something that completely overtakes you. And there has also been a manipulative person in your life recently that's landed straight on that card about mediation. There is someone who is manipulative, someone who's been trying to stand in your way or been trying to make you change your plans to suit them or make you do things that you don't really want to do just because they want to get something from you. So think about who that could be. This could be someone who 
you wouldn't think necessarily is out to get you or you wouldn't think necessarily is a user. Uh, it could be someone who is subconsciously sabotaging you by their own envy um, or just their own feelings of failure and, you know, worries about other people's success. So this could be someone who is a friend, like someone who is smiling in your face while standing in your way. Be on the lookout for that. The way that you can tell if someone is subconsciously sabotaging you or is just not a right fit for your energy is see when you've spent time with them how you feel afterwards. Do you feel energized, excited, inspired, mind buzzing with ideas, or do you feel drained, anxious, unsettled, tired, angry even, or worried? That will let you know who is the right person for you to kind of hang around with. You've got the cartouche there, which is lovely because you picked the Ramsey's Terror of Eternity. So that's saying that you are divinely protected for this lifetime and the next one as well. It's like a two lifetime, strong divine intervention, strong divine protection deal. Really lovely because I did sense that this pile in particular has got a lot of spiritual energy around them. A lot of help in the spirit and angelic realms. And then finally, you've got the bag of tricks. Blessings, magic, abundance opportunities coming your way able to turn a situation around and make it you know suit you or work out really well for you so we'll get your dice on top now to finish up your reading so what I do first is I roll the six-sided dice because I've got six sets of dice so that will show us which one we're going to use and I am considering getting some more as well okay so group two we're rolling the second set of dice for you. Those are the original ones. And let me just show you what they look like. And then I use a d10 to see how many we're going to roll. So there's nine of them. If I roll a zero or a one, I'll just roll again. Four. Okay. Okay, yes, so shadow self issues popping up immediately, you guys working through the shadow, working through the psyche, inner child, repressed memories, difficult memories of trauma, etc. All of those things are being worked through at this time. That can be very scary and confronting, but I feel like you're doing that really well. The moon also points to those things. The moon talks about the shadow self, the things that keep us awake at night while we're thinking and worrying and wondering. It's also about dreams and intuition. Your intuition is very strong at this time. You may also get prophetic dreams. You might want to keep a dream diary to see if you get similar themes or similar meanings when you look up the meanings. At this time, you're kind of peeping through this new beginning. It's not quite unlocked yet, but it will soon be. And just a little downturned face, feeling like you're unsettled or like you're not getting what you want right now. And so that has landed on the Travelling Lightly card. That's why you're being asked to give over to Archangel Azrael specifically or the angels in general or God or whoever you want to give it to. Just say, I release this now. I don't want this anymore. It's weighing me down. I'm carrying this around with me. I'm ready to release it now. You can do that in meditation or prayer or you might need to do it a few times to feel like it's fully all gone because sometimes we still end up carrying bits of it around with us, um, need to kind of squeeze it all out so nothing is left. But that's what I'm seeing for you today, group two. So thank you so much for coming here, spending your time and sharing your energy with me. It's been an honor to give you these messages and a great pleasure to have you here. Please do let me know in the comments how this resonated with you. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And if you want to get more involved with what I do here on the channel, then you can check out the description box. There's lots of links in there um, to help you do that. So you can book a private reading with me over on Etsy or an angel healing session. I offer those as well. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or Billy Billy. If you would like to get access to exclusive content and giveaways, then check out my Patreon page. Consider becoming a patron. You get lots of perks over there. 
Um, and if you would like to donate to the channel, then thank you guys so much. I have an Etsy tips jar and also a PayPal link for tips and donations, which help me keep making these videos. And if you're feeling super generous and would like to donate a deck to the channel, then again, just thank you. That is really, really kind. I've got an Amazon wish list, and I've also now got an indie deck wish list for the decks that you can't buy on Amazon. Um, so definitely check those out if they interest you. See if anything pops up. See if anything there really catches your eye that you think would work really well on this channel. And thank you so much again. Have a great rest of your day. I wish you all the luck with whatever you're doing right now. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Hi there, my lovely group threes. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the green and yellow hot air balloon and the sun and moon tarot, let's see what messages we're going to get for you today. So the first two groups were quite different from one another. So I'm wondering if this will also be very different as well. See what we've got from the tarot first so judgment the eon group two got that card as well obviously a different tarot deck the lovers the sun so three major arcana cards all at once wow and then nine of pentacles gain okay group three i'm seeing a lot of positivity coming your way i'm seeing gemini potentially also leo coming out as well Basically what I'm feeling is that you, like group two, are being given rewards or dividends for previous good work or previous hard work. If you have maybe been through a tough time, but you've always responded with love or healing or, you know, not rising to the situation, not getting aggressive or wishing someone badly who behaved negatively towards you, you are going to get a lot of dividends here. Seeing a lot of happiness coming your way, very good health. I'm seeing luck when it comes to money, finance, career, education. I'm also seeing luck in love as well and just personal relationships generally. I'm just honestly seeing a lot of happiness here, group three. So this is a great, great message. Um, I'm aware that maybe some of you are feeling this is definitely not my pile. Um, this is not my life right now, but just stick around because we might get some some things that confirm for you that it's your pile. You know, you might not be feeling like this at all at the moment, but it's coming. Let's get you an Archangel Power Tarot card. Aha, the Four of Raphael. Four of Cups. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Yes, this feeling of boredom, feeling like there is no opportunity coming your way. Just as I was talking about you feeling like this might not be your pile, feeling as though life has kind of forgotten about you, like Lady Luck has forsaken you, you're not getting anything like what you hoped you would be getting from life, and maybe you just feel as well very disheartened or very drained or very unable energetically to achieve anything like you just feel like someone asks you to do something someone invites you somewhere you just think nah I can't do it I've not got the energy there's something that you're not noticing as well obviously because Archangel Raphael is like floating in the background there this girl's not seeing him he's holding her another conch shell for her collection she's not noticing Okay, so your message from heaven is focus your mind on what you really want. We are helping, number 15. So yes, that feeling of you not feeling like you're getting anything at this time or maybe not focusing on the right things. Um, try not to focus, group three, on what you're disappointed in or what you've lost or what you lack. Try and focus instead on what you want life to look like for you. Try and really vividly imagine what would the perfect life be like for me? You know, how would I feel? Where would I live? What would my daily routine be like? My, what would I go through in one day? Um, what would my house look like? What would my job be like? What would my health be like? What would my friends be like? Try and vividly picture it really strongly. We are helping. And the we here, that can be angels, your spirit guides, passed over loved ones, your patron gods. Whoever you're asking today in this reading, they want to help you get what you want.
Then you have two Spirit Animal Oracle cards. So the first one is Dolphin Spirit, number 20, this and that are true. With dolphins, I always think of helpful people, people who want to help, people who maybe know more than you and can guide you in the right direction. And this and that are true also makes me feel like, yes, you may feel like this right now, but still there's all this good stuff to come. Both things can be true. And 58, Stag Spirit, take the lead. Okay, show the universe what it is that you want. Show them how you think you can get it. Try and basically show your hand to the universe. Take some kind of affirmative step in the decision, um, sorry, in the direction of your perfect life. If you visualize your perfect life and then you visualize your current life and you ask yourself, what are the steps in between this? What do I need to do in order to get here? Try and take those first few steps. Kind of like meeting spirit halfway, if you like. So then you have the Six of Keys in Crescent Moon. So yes, this feeling that things are increasing for you. This is a waxing um, moon. The energy is growing stronger for you. More potent, more powerful. The King of Roses. Okay, so there could be a new love interest coming into your life or a deeper relationship with someone that you're currently seeing or currently interested in. view from above, get the big picture. Yes, you guys, that's what I was meaning. Visualize the whole journey, not just the destination. See things with a long-term perspective. Might help you get out of this really stuck mindset that you seem to be currently in. A lot of very vibrant and happy and like just really positive cards. So let's get you a message from the water elementals now. Persistent drive, number 11. See what you desire and move towards that goal. Oh my goodness, you guys. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. Okay, so yes, seeing what you want and moving towards it and being single-minded about that. That's absolutely great. Love it when the cards give us these consistent, repeated messages especially in this kind of reading where it's like, give me a message, you know, getting it repeatedly makes it feel that more potent. So we'll also get a message from the air elementals as well now. Acorn woodpecker, accumulate in times of plenty to ensure abundance in times of scarcity. So saving money or saving up your energy, like storing up resources, group three. Really interesting message. Maybe you want to travel and you can start putting money aside now. Or if you're looking to maybe buy a house. Maybe it's saying you want to work in this country in the future or in this role, but you'll need to learn something like a language or a skill in order to do that. So start doing little bits every day. I said this, I think, to group one. It's much better if you can do five or ten minutes of something every day rather than doing like an hour or two hours every fortnight or every month like try and do it consistently even if it's just a teeny tiny bit because it will give you a much better um, outcome i'm polyglot i speak multiple languages always learning new languages i'm currently on the journey with arabic at this time assalamu alaikum uh, if you are an arabic viewer and i completely get that sometimes you just don't have the energy, you can't face it, you're thinking, oh my god, don't have the mental space all the time, really, to be doing this, but you've just got to push yourself forward and do that five minutes or ten minutes a day, because it just really does help. And we've got water elementals and air elementals today, because I thought, as above, so below, we'll get a message from the water elementals beneath us in the bottom of the ocean and the air elementals in the sky above us. I just thought that was a lovely um, imagery to have. Contemplate death and beyond, number six. 
Ask yourself the big questions in life. Ask yourself, what am I here to do? What are my gifts? What do I want to achieve with this life? Because it feels, group three, that you're feeling a little bit directionless. Like you haven't yet visualized that perfect life. Maybe you know that you're dissatisfied with your current life, but you can't yet see what the better life would be, what the better option would be. You know, it's like you just know that you're unhappy with this, but you don't know what the alternative would be. So start visualizing what you really want. List things, write out your talents, write out your skills, write out the things you enjoy. Ask yourself what you're not satisfied with now. Write a list, be honest, be brutally honest with yourself. What am I unhappy with in life right now? And then each thing say, how can I address this? Bonus points if you can use your skills or your talents or your enjoyment to address that. Um, and that will help you formulate your idea of your perfect life. And then you can add in those practical steps that can get you there. Your Dark Goddess Oracle card is Skadi, Atonement. Okay, so a feeling that maybe you have behaved negatively or made the wrong decisions or even upset or hurt someone in the past, done things that you've regretted. And a feeling that you should be punished for that or that you, the way that you're feeling right now is punishment or karma or, you know, that you don't deserve to be happy because when you were a kid you did this or, you know you didn't help this person when they needed it or you really wish that person would fail because you couldn't bear to see them being successful or whatever it is. Stop beating yourself up is what that card is saying. Make your peace with the past. If you feel like you need to apologize to someone and it's safe for you to do that, then do that. If you can't contact that person but you still feel like you need to do something, write out a letter to them explaining it, burn it or bury it, whatever's safe for you to do. Um, just make your peace with it in whatever way. Meditate. Let go. Okay, two legendary ladies oracle cards here. So the first one is Artemis. Independence, yes. Stepping out into the world, not relying on anyone anymore. And Marigan, rhythm. Two very strong goddesses there going with the flow, going with only as much as you can take energy-wise or or time-wise or difficulty-wise, you know, like I was saying, trying to do a little bit every day rather than overwhelming yourself in one go and burning yourself out. Persönliche Mythos, number 18, personal myth. Avoid telling a story about your life in your head. Examine the way that you talk about yourself or about your life in your head. Do you see yourself as Rapunzel or Cinderella or Hermione Granger or, you know, someone who appears in a story or a movie or a fairy tale? Ask yourself how that might be holding you back, because if you see yourself as Rapunzel, then the logical consequence of that is that you're waiting for someone to rescue you. And these cards are saying you need to be independent. If you see yourself as Hermione Granger, Hermione's often very unhappy. Yes, she's someone to aspire to because she's so intelligent and she's so kind and she will do anything for others to help her, um, to help others. Again, sorry if you've not read Harry Potter and you're just kind of staring misty-eyed at the screen right now, but um, Hermione doesn't have any female friends really apart from Ginny eventually. She's often shunned by people, she's bullied by people. She spends a lot of time crying or being on her own. She's treated horribly by Ron a lot of the time and then ends up marrying him. So what I'm saying is you might end up subconsciously changing your decisions and making decisions that are inauthentic if you pretend to be someone else in your mind or if you say, oh, I'm just like this person or I want to live my life like this person. It's kind of like even if there's someone to aspire to or even if they're this great idol or hero or heroine for you, still that might pull you away from your path by making you alter your decisions, um, even if you're not consciously aware of that. Does that make sense? That's what that card means. It's a little bit deep and it's, it requires some um, explanation, but that's what that card is about. So that might be a message just to some of you. Examine the way that you talk about yourself and your life in your head. Okay, then your star seed message. If we just take a look at the back of the card, there's this beautiful woman there. Um, with her hair kind of stretching out, almost looks like an ammonite, you know, like endless infinity. 
the backs of these cards are all different. And we've got the word strength there. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong, a positive outcome is assured. So a beautiful, beautiful message there. For those of you that have been doubting yourselves. Vedatyesh jasna fiesta. A lucky star is guiding you. That's so positive, you guys. You're being guided by the cosmos. A positive outcome is assured. A lucky star is guiding you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You've got a lot of purples going on here as well. You've got a purple, um, little purple angel there. A lot of purples and pinks in your reading. Blues as well. So we'll just get you your final card and then we'll do your charms and dice like we always do to get you your extra messages. Okay, so you have got number nine. Wastefulness, unrest, and continuous movement. And then this is the visualization there. So we'll see if anything jumps out at me from the guidebook. Again, it does seem quite a straightforward message, but we'll see if there's anything in particular in the guidebook that makes us sit up and listen. This is the Hebrew letter Gimel. I did at one point know the Hebrew alphabet off by heart, but now that was many years ago. I've forgotten it now. So we're all learning Hebrew together, <laughs> refreshing our memory or learning it together with this deck. Um, so this card is about playfulness and childish innocence. The behavior of someone who is restless, who has a lively personality, is independent and bubbly, but who seeks space for expression. The capability to inspire others and move them to action. A drift of great dynamics, spontaneity, rapid developments, changes, and travel. This vital energy may also go with impulsive behavior that does not take into account any future results. Unfair or immoral behavior led by lust and greed, obsessive pursuit of material comfort, undue extravagance, arrogance, or crushing others out of impatience and lack of basic understanding. Someone feels hurt and may now behave childishly and require a lot of attention. They may be unable to make decisions, no longer willing to listen to others and get moral lectures. All they want is to run away and abandon the battle. It's important to avoid absent-mindedness and unnecessary spending. Ha! Ha ha! Yes, that card. Accumulate in times of plenty to ensure abundance in times of scarcity. Yes. Something about cutting back on spending there whether it's energy or money or whatever. Um, or restrain the urge to achieve instant gratification. In romance, a new person enters your life and you have a sudden crush and feel impatient to realize the new romantic relationship. So that's another message that we've got in the reading as well. Wow. Okay, so lots going on there with that card, group three. But I think we've got some beautiful messages so far today. I'll get you your charms on top now as well. And just my quick disclaimer, if you don't like the sound of the charms being shuffled or if you have high volume on your device right now, I would recommend turning it down because some of you find it really relaxing, you really like it, some of you really hate it. So I always try and remember to tell you when I'm about to start. They can be very loud. Um, that's just the nature of the beast. So let's get your messages, group three. Messages you need to hear. got the letter I there that could be talking about yourself like I me the big I am um, basically putting yourself first for a change you could take this potentially as a Roman numeral like the number one new beginnings um, it could of course be someone's initial or a place or a word that pops into your mind we've got the Christmas tree there so winter is important here maybe you're saving up over the winter kind of like how woodpeckers and um, squirrels store nuts and things over the winter and then they sorry over the summer and autumn so that they can eat them in the winter maybe it's saying prepare now so that when things are more difficult financially or emotionally you have this strong um, resources to fall back on security and stability you've got good luck there with the ladybird good luck coming your way 
listen to your inner voice that wisdom is very very strong right now you're being guided through your intuition you've got leo's energy there you have friendly as well which is the reverse of the aquarius charm so aquarius energy as well you've got something returning to you so this could be your um energy coming back your inspiration coming back confidence coming back returning to better health could be a person coming back into your life as well take things slowly little snail there saying go go slowly don't rush yourself don't overwhelm yourself follow your natural rhythm as Morrigan is saying there you have an earth elemental who is telling you it's fine to be different it's fine to do things that aren't mainstream or that other people might not gel with We've got the baby pram there, so that's talking about making long-term plans. Being more confident with a little deer there, the baby fawn. A need to speak up more, a need to be more confident in yourself, a need to, um, you know, just have, have more faith in yourself. And finally, the diva bunny. So whenever I get that charm, I think of worrying too much about a problem or worrying about something that ultimately isn't going to happen. Um, focusing on the worst case scenarios, making a mountain out of a molehill, all of those things kind of come with that charm. So it's a positive message because it's saying what you're worried about right now, there's no need to worry about it because it's either not going to be as bad as you thought or it's just not going to happen at all. Um, yeah, so that's the message of that charm. Let's get your dice on top as well. So what I do first is I roll a d6, because I have six sets of dice, I'm thinking about getting some more, um, and that will tell us which set we're going to use. Number six, okay. Those are the Voyager's dice. Let me show you what they look like. These ones. And then I roll a d10 to see how many of them we're going to use. And if I roll a zero or a one, because there's nine dice, I just roll again. Six. Wow. Six and six. Six, six. Sixty-six. <laughs> You've got a number six there as well with the six of keys. Okay, group three. Okay, so we've got the octopus there, first of all. Juggling a lot of things, having a lot of things going on for you right now, a lot of things to go through, a lot of things or people needing your attention, running on empty as well. Look at that, that's nearly empty. So yes, this feeling that you're running out of energy, you're running out of money, maybe running out of hope, you know, with the rain there, feeling like bad luck won't leave you, like you've permanently got a rain cloud over your head, but soon the sun is going to come out and that's going to clear up. The helmet is telling you that you are going through a tough time, but you're strong enough and resilient enough to get through it. You might be angry at yourself or at the world or at a particular person. And then we've got these magic beans. So like Jack and the Beanstalk, positive things are going to happen. There's going to be sudden magical change. There's going to suddenly be um, like an overnight change or an unexpected surprise or being like saved at the 11th hour. Something is going to change really very quickly it's like that judgment moment where suddenly you think oh my goodness I'm not worried anymore because this has saved me or this you know this person's helped me or I've got this new opportunity this door is just open for me and it's suddenly like sunlight is you know burning into the room and blowing away all the the rain clouds drying up the rain that's what I'm feeling is that it's really kind of unexpected it comes out of nowhere for you group three so if you're feeling like this is not indicative of my life at all. My life is terrible. My life is boring. My life is dismal. I have nothing to look forward to. Just know this is your pile. This is your message, group three. <laughs> just, even if you can't quite believe it yet, just accept it as truth. Just say to yourself now, I accept this message. I accept it as truth. I welcome it into my life. Surprise me. Go ahead and surprise me, spirit. <laughs> Okay, so group three, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for spending your time with me here today. It's been an honor to give you these messages and a great pleasure to have you. Please do let me know in the comments how it resonated with you. I would love it if you would like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as well. Help this channel get seen by more people. And if you want to get more involved with what I do here on the channel, check out my description box. There's so many links in there. 
all the time. You can go and follow me on Instagram or Billy Billy. If you'd like to book a private reading or an angel healing session, check out my Etsy page. Um, if you want access to exclusive content and giveaways that I do, then consider becoming a patron on my Patreon page. You can check that out in the description box as well. And if you want to um, leave a tip or a donation to the channel to help me keep making these videos, thank you so, so much. I have an Etsy tips jar and I've got a PayPal link. Um, or if you're feeling very generous and you'd like to actually donate a new deck, that is so lovely of you, please check out my Amazon wish list. And I've also recently made an indie deck wish list for the decks that aren't available for purchase on Amazon. Um, you can check out both of them or either of them, see if anything catches your eye. I would really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who has looked at them, even if you've not bought anything, that's fine. Um, thank you for taking the time to do that. And thank you again for being here. Have a lovely rest of your day. I wish you all the best of luck with everything that's going on for you right now, group three, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care.